Hello, here's a quick tip for those of you who are giving feedback on student writing or student work generally. Um, I'm doing this example in Microsoft Word, but there is very similar functionality in Google Docs as well, so um, feel free to give that a look. First thing is, rather than actually writing in where the student's writing, you can in fact go up to Review and you can add a comment. Uh, so, let's say that I look at that and I realise that this is in fact a run-on sentence. So I type hash run, and as you can see, this is putting my standard boilerplate text for that particular type of error. And I'll show you how I've done this. So when the student comes in, they see these comments, they can click on them, they can see the sentence that it relates to. What I've got is this document set up in a thing called uh, Auto Hotkey, which is free. It's for Windows, but I'm sure there's versions for other platforms. I'm sure there's a Mac version, for instance. So you set it up, and what I'm basically saying is, when I see um, the when I see type hash run, then it'll give me that text there. It might look a bit overwhelming here on the video, but it's actually very simple. And what I do is I just write these sentences organically, and then I copy and paste them in here. So I don't think, oh, what could I put in my database? I just think, oh, I'm writing this to a student. I bet there's other people I could say this to. So I copy and paste it. It's particularly good if you want to put a bit more information into it. You don't want to bludgeon students with feedback, but it is handy to be able to look at them and say, oh, okay, well, this, um, this sentence here, this has um, got a problem with the capital letters and names. Now, I'm using Control-Alt-M here to do the same thing. So I'm going hash name, and there you go. Oh, there you go. So I've actually put the wrong thing in. I've told hash name, it turns out, tells them to put their name on their work. So I think cap name, I actually keep a, um, when I'm using this a bit, I actually keep a cheat sheet with me. So as you can see, this is a good way of putting it on. You can even have a dialogue with students so that you are working back and forth um, and they can add comments and you can add comments. So uh, none of this software is, you know, you could use Google Drive, you could use another word processor, but it's a good trick to know. So I encourage people to have a crack.